This super creamy pasta, it's a vegetarian carbonara, yes! It's sensational! <laughs> Let's make it together! Mm. 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 Wow! To make vegetarian carbonara, we need one large zucchini. I use a very nice large zucchini. Otherwise, you can use two medium-sized zucchini. 200 grams of pasta. The pasta I chose today is called Fileia Calabrese, a pasta from Calabria. It's my choice for the day. It's like a um, thick linguine uh, cut enough, you know, like it's, uh, it's very nice and rich. Because of the 200 grams of pasta, we're using three eggs, two egg yolks, one entire egg, five, even six generous tablespoons of pecorino cheese, the garlic, we're gonna use two cloves of garlic, one per person. And no, this is not Gordon Ramsay's fault, guys. I don't have guanciale. Guanciale normally have uh, the pepper, the salt, the garlic, all in there. The flavor is in the guanciale. Zucchini needs a little kick, and the garlic will give it to the zucchini. This is the only reason why I'm using garlic, okay? Hey, Gordon, don't get too excited. You dirty pig! We need some flour oil to fry the zucchini, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Now for this recipe I'm using two large zucchini. I think one would be enough, okay? But I've got the extra one just in case, okay? What I like to do is I like to cut discs. And I'll tell you why. Thin discs. Because I want this zucchini to look like the guanciale, okay? So what I do is I put the discs on top of each other and then we create strips. Just like the guanciale, just like that. See? And this is what I want to achieve. I think one zucchini is more than enough. Depends on how much you like the zucchini. We're going to fry them, so they're gonna shrink a little bit, okay? So the first thing that we wanna do is to fry the zucchini. So the oil is nice and hot. Let's do a check. Let's put the zucchini in there. Yeah, it's ready, see? It's frying. So we can start frying our replacement of guanciale, the strips of zucchini. Let me tell you, it's gonna be a fantastic vegetarian carbonara. I'm gonna cook the zucchini in two batches, okay? I'm gonna put one batch, so half of this first, and then I cook the second half, simply because I don't want the oil to get cold. And this will take a few minutes. When they become nice and brown, they're ready. Okay guys, see? What I want to achieve, this is not burnt, but I just want the zucchini to be slightly crunchy, okay? So I want them to be nice and cooked. So let's start getting them out. And what we want to do is we want to rest them in some kitchen paper. What happened is because I cut them nice and thin, they kind of um, cook pretty fast and they do brown a little bit. It's not burned, it's actually nice. So don't be scared by the color. And here we go with the second batch. Now you need to understand that the zucchini they're not gonna be crispy because they won't be crispy. They will be crispy now, but soon they will become a little bit soft. But it doesn't matter because the way we're serving them, you will feel it. You will feel, your tooth will feel the zucchini. It will give nice flavors to your carbonara. The zucchini are ready. It's time to boil the pasta. So I've got a large pot and just enough water to cook the pasta. One tablespoon of rock salt. The water is boiling, which is perfect. Now we can cook the pasta. Let's boil it. Time to make the carbonara sauce! Get the eggs. And what we do is, we separate the egg white to the egg yolk. The egg white, you can use to make amaretti, okay? The egg yolk, we use for the carbonara. 
So here we are using two egg yolks and one entire egg, okay? Reason why is because every 100 grams of pasta eats one egg yolk. It doesn't matter if you use ten, one kilo of pasta, you use 10 egg yolk, you always need an entire egg to go with this, okay? So if you're making 600 grams of pasta, six egg yolks and one entire egg, that's how you do it. What we do now is we want to, to beat the eggs. Let's put a generous amount of pepper. Let's beat the eggs. And now we start adding the pecorino cheese, okay? So I'm not gonna put the whole thing in there. Just put a little bit at a time because I wanna get a nice thick, but a little bit runny cream. So as you can see, the cheese is still trying to melt in the egg. This is such an important process, guys. Here we go. This is gonna turn into cream, okay? So you don't wanna make mistakes. Let's put more pecorino. And don't forget, we need some pecorino on top of the pasta after, so don't put it in the egg. Here we go, here it is, we have the cream. The egg and pecorino sauce, it's ready. See, it's thick, but slightly runny, that's what you want. Now we need to cut the garlic, and I wanna cut the garlic very, very thin, or you can use a garlic crusher, because I, don't, I do not want the garlic to be visible in this dish, okay? I just want the, this to be very thin and then we chop it into small, small pieces. I want the garlic to give the small kick, but I don't want people to know that the garlic is there, you know what I mean? I want the pecorino to be the main flavor to get with, together with the eggs and the pepper. Just want the garlic, honestly, to, to give us the extra kick but they, people don't need to know that it's there. See, nice and small. What we can do now, we can crush it a little bit, just like that. Just crush it. We just need one, maybe two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Not much. Then what we wanna do is, we wanna gently cook the garlic, okay? Gently cook the garlic, don't put it on a high heat, should be low heat, okay? Please, low heat. Gently cook the garlic, ooh, the beautiful smell of the garlic. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Yes, open my nostrils. Oh, this is the smell that is going directly into my brain. <sighs> All right, now the garlic, after about 30 seconds, the garlic is ready. We can add the zucchini. So let's put the zucchini inside. So we want to revive the zucchini, okay? We want the zucchini to be back to life and mix with the garlic, okay? You want the garlic and the zucchini to make love together right now. That's what we want, okay? What we wanna do is let's bring it back here so we can dry up the zucchini a little again, dry up, but now they have the flavors of the garlic. And now it's time to combine all the ingredients. Okay, the pasta is ready. First thing to do is to get a mug of pasta water full of starch, you know? This mug of pasta water is very important. Now, on a medium heat, we're gonna put the pasta in there. Just move it. Oh, I love this pasta. Fileia Calabrese. Delicious pasta from Calabria. Now, what we want to do is to put a little bit of pasta water, not too much, half mug, and stir, okay? Don't worry because the pasta will collect the pasta water. The reason why we wanna have the pasta water there is because when we add the egg, we want the starchy water, turn the egg mixture, into cream and this is the only way okay here we go the pasta is fine nice and warm let's take this off the heat and we add the cream and this is where the magic begins okay now before we add the egg let's put a little bit of pecorino just a little bit like if you're making cacio e pepe you know mix it 
give that nice color to the water just like that perfect and now let's make the carbonara here is the egg let's put egg mixture in there oh beautiful beautiful egg mixture see the extra egg that we have here just clean it with the pasta perfect this is nice and clean see now we stir and can you see the water mixing with the egg is creating this beautiful cream look how beautiful this is look how beautiful this is so we're gonna put more pecorino and finally we're gonna add the zucchini not all of it we're gonna keep some for final decoration now it's time to toss a vegetarian carbonara look at that look at this beauty you want to look at this hmm? look at this look at this carbonara vegetarian carbonara made with zucchini come on let's serve it Creamy, oh my god, look how creamy it is. Look how creamy this carbonara is. Oh, yum, oh, look at the cream. Yeah, let's add a little bit of carbonara cream on top. You want some carbonara cream on top? Yeah, baby. Okay, let's finish the dish now. Very creamy. Pepper. Generous amount of pepper, please. Sprinkle of pecorino cheese, please. Yum. And now we finish it off with the zucchini on top. Yes. And this is how you make a vegetarian carbonara. It's vegetarian carbonara time! Look at that, look at that, look at that creamy. Look at that beautiful cream, look at that. Oh, guys, this is a proper carbonara. All I did, I changed the main ingredients. No guanciale, but yes, a vegetarian zucchini. Cooked a little bit differently, but this is so creamy. Listen to the sound. Mmm, oh my god, mmm. The fried zucchini flavors remind me of spaghetti alla nerano, mmm. But then you got the eggs here, you got the pecorino, the pepper. Mmm, mmm. It's a carbonara texture. The carbonara flavor with this beautiful fried zucchini. Oh, amazing flavors. The garlic, it's right there. But we don't know it's there, but it's right there. This is a bomb of happiness. I don't want to say this is better than the original. Be careful what you say. But this is very good. Mm. Mm. I cannot wait for you to try this. This is great. If a vegetarian friend coming over, you make this, he, she will be extremely happy. Oh. Mm. 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 Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Vegetarian carbonara. Mm. Carbonara time!